Hello everyone, this is Frank DeMore with the End Times Research Ministry. Today is the 24th of 2016, June. This is a very interesting day concerning uh, Bible prophecy. And you're going to see why. I gave a little bit of the information yesterday, but I want to expound on it a little bit more. For those of you who may not know the importance of what's taking place in the European Union concerning the exit of the UK from the EU, or it stands for European Union. Before I go any farther, just let me say that you can download my book for free by going over to my website. Download the book, Last Chronicles of Planet Earth, and read chapter 2. Chapter 2 there discusses the formation of the revived Roman Empire, the western leg of the old Roman Empire that was prophesied it would be back again just prior to the Lord's second coming. Now concerning the book of Daniel, which is found in the Old Testament, God gave Daniel a look at what was going to happen from the time that King Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, was installed all the way until the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll need this information to understand the importance of what's going on in Great Britain right now. And so in chapter 2, you'll see a figure, and there's just a representation of a figure that he may have been looking at or something like that. But it was a figure of this colossal image, and the image really was significant about world powers that would come one after another from the time of King Nebuchadnezzar all the way to the time of the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so when King Nebuchadnezzar was king of Babylon, he was seen in this image, and God spoke to him as gold, the gold figure at the top, the head. And then when Babylon was going to be defeated, we know that according to the prophecy, it would be the Medo-Persians who would come in, defeat the Babylonian Empire, and that's exactly what took place in history. We also know that Alexander the Great came in and he destroyed the Medo-Persian Empire, just like the Lord had prophesied. And then the Roman Empire came in later and squashed out Alexander's kingdom that was divided into four kings. And uh, that was also part of the prophecy as well. Then in the last days, we would see this revived Roman Empire return. And that's exactly what's happened. The European Union, of which Great Britain is part of right now, or it was part of until this referendum, they are the exact same nations that used to be in the old Roman Empire. So we know for sure that the western end of the old Roman Empire is already established. And this is where it gets pretty interesting concerning what we're just seeing in the news. Now when we take a look at Daniel, we see that when this revived Roman Empire would come together in the last days, there would be problems. And it would actually break up. Take a look at this in Daniel chapter 2 verse 41 for 43. Of course, it's talking about the decline of the EU, which is the modern version of the old Roman Empire. It says this, Whereas you saw the feet and toes, partly of potter's clay and partly of iron, get this, the kingdom shall be divided. Yet the strength of the iron shall be in it, just as you saw the iron mixed with ceramic clay. And as the toes of the feet were partly of iron and partly of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly fragile. Exactly what we're seeing today. As you saw iron mixed with ceramic clay, they will mingle with the seed of men, but they will not adhere to one another just as iron does not mix with clay. So just in this context alone, we see that this revived Roman Empire is going to fall apart, go into pieces. Now, what we do know is that's exactly what is taking place in the European Union. So when we go back to this figure again, we see at the bottom the revived Roman Empire. It's already standing. And now we're beginning to see the breakup, partly strong, partly fragile. Now, so as I said, it's important to understand the word of the Lord. And if the word of the Lord tells us that you're going to see this revived Roman Empire, and we see it, 
And he also says there's going to be a breakup. They're not going to be completely strong. They'll be partly strong and partly weak. They won't adhere together, as it says in the scriptures. Don't be surprised that you have now seen the UK, which is part of the European Union, exit out of this European Union because there would have to be a breakup to fulfill the prophecy. Now, it isn't just the referendum that was voted in Great Britain yesterday that was passed to leave the European Union. But as I said years ago, what we should be watching, you'll read all about this in my book if you download my book at my website, that you're going to probably have to see a domino effect of other nations in the European Union that will leave the European Union just like Great Britain did. In other words, other referendums just like Great Britain did yesterday when they voted to exit. Now, the Express today, June 24th, talks about Denmark. Their politicians in Denmark also are calling for a referendum now, just like Great Britain did. And it isn't just Denmark. So the domino effect appears to be in effect. Let me show you another article. Today, the BBC, June 24th. Look at the headline, EU referendum. Brick X sparks call for other EU votes. In other words, other European Union nations wanting to leave and actually, if they did this, it would definitely fulfill that prophecy. Now, this article says the UK's vote to leave the EU has sparked demands from far-right parties for referendums in other member states. France's National Front leader, Marie Le Pen, said that France must now also have the right to choose. Dutch anti-immigration politician Gerard Wilder said that the Netherlands deserved an exit vote, while Italy's Northern League said, now it's our turn. So you can see the parallel between current events and what exactly was written to us for the future in prophecy. And this is why it's so important to know the word of the Lord so that you can understand what's going on. This is why Jesus gave us a command to keep on the watch. Because those that love Jesus are going to be keeping on the watch. They're going to understand what's going on and they will be able to prepare themselves much better than a person who knows nothing about the future based on what the Lord tells us to look for. So it's a motivator. It shows us that our Lord Jesus Christ is the true God because no one could give this kind of information that far in advance and be false. I mean, it just shows you that God is a true God. Only he can do such a thing. And even in the Old Testament, he told us that he was going to show us things that took place before they took place. And that's essentially what we're seeing. So as long as the events that we're seeing written in the Bible and in the news are running parallel, let's definitely keep an eye on what's going on. Because the last result of this figure that God showed Daniel is going to be these 10 kings are going to be coming together. They're going to be solidifying their power and then they're going to give their power over to the little horn that's going to shoot up and he is going to have all authority given to him by these 10 kings. And what we do know, the scriptures also tell us, as soon as this little horn comes up, he's going to subdue three kings, three kingdoms. So this is what we should be looking for. We should be looking for other breakups within those European Union nations, but also at the same time, just as a back note or a footnote, take a look at if Great Britain, now obviously they're going to be exiting the European Union, and they have a huge economy. So there's going to be a, a good void right there, and it's causing a lot of havoc right now in the stock markets, as you can see if you've been watching the news this morning. But so if you have a void, take a look at the Ottoman Empire. What I mean by that is Turkey. 
Turkey is an associate member, and they've been working for a very, very long time to try to be a full member. So why not speed up the process, which they have been doing, to bring Turkey in as a full member? And when that happens, if that happens, it'll be the first time in 2,000 years you'll have the western leg and the eastern leg of the old Roman Empire joined together. So my friends, these are definitely exciting times we are seeing prophecy being fulfilled. At least it definitely looks like it concerning the fact that exactly what was written is taking place. So again, if you want to know more information about this revived Roman Empire, both the western leg and the eastern leg of the old Roman Empire, and what's going to happen, just go over to my website. You'll see it at the top there, and you'll see my book. Download the book for free today. And so I would ask you to let your friends know what's going on because we are definitely getting closer and closer to the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. Prophecy is a beautiful way to show the truth of the Word of God. And by showing the truth of the Word of God, you're showing them that God can be trusted. And God is the only true God. Jesus Christ, Yushia who came and died for us on the cross. He is coming back, and he's showing us the signs of his soon return. This is Frank DeMore with the End Times Research Ministry. Please give your life over to Jesus Christ today while there's still time.